Increasing channel width is one of the quickest ways of improving your Ubiquiti Unify download and upload speeds. It is a very simple change, it doesn't take long at all, and I'm gonna show you how much of a difference it can make in this video. So channel width is basically just the number of channels that you're using within your Wi-Fi. If you think of it like a road, so say for example you're only using two lanes on a road, if you then increase that to four, then obviously there's gonna be more traffic. And that's exactly the same for Wi-Fi. The more channels, the more traffic. However, there is a bit of a payoff. Increasing that channel width also increases the chance of interference. So you can get problems. However, what I would say is that we nearly always increase channel width in our installations, specifically on the five gigahertz. 2.4 gigahertz is a little bit more problematic because there's less channels and you're more likely to get interference. So I would generally advise leaving that alone. But five gigahertz, there is definitely opportunity to increase that channel width and increase your Wi-Fi speeds. So let's get into that now. Okay, so I'm using network version 8.0.28. If you're using a earlier version, you might notice this is slightly different and you might not be able to make the change the way the, that I do it initially, but you can do it the second way. So uh, don't worry too much about that. So we're just gonna select network. And take us to our dashboard, go down the side here, and we're going to go to radios. We'll select radios. And I'm gonna be doing it on this U6 uh, mesh here. So I'm just gonna select that on the five gigahertz and then on the side here, you'll see that it's got channel width. Now we're only gonna be concentrating on the 40 and the 80. We're not gonna bother with the 20, the 40 or the 160. You can see this, I've currently got this on 80, but I'm gonna put it down to 40 because that is what the Unify access points come to uh, come as default. So uh, that's the one we're gonna use initially. So I'll just apply that change. And this will be our kind of reference. This is what you would expect when you first set up your Ubiquiti by default. Now I've got a 900 up, 900 down connection here, so uh, that's the speed that we're working with. I'm gonna do the first speed test based on the uh, 40, and we'll see what results we get. Okay, so I would expect around 350 to 400 from this speed test on the upload and the download, but we'll see how it gets on. Looks like it's about 350 at the moment. Yep, so 351 on the download, and a little bit faster on the upload by the looks of it, nearly at 400, so 378 on the upload. Okay, so that's what we're working with on the kind of default channel width of 40. So now we're gonna increase that channel width to 80 and see what result we get. So I'll just put select 80 here, select apply, and then that will change and we can do the test again. So I'll just give that a second. Okay, so we're doing the speed test again and we are now up to, creeping up towards 500, 550s, 560, nearly 600 here. And, oh, we're gonna go to 600, so we should finish on 600. So 611 for the download, and the upload, we're at 522. So you can see straight away what a difference the channel width can make. Right, the other way of changing the channel width is uh, by doing it on the individual access points. So you can just select on the device itself. If you've got an old version of Unify, you might not have this radios uh, option here. So you can actually just select the access point and then go over to settings and then down to channel width and it says it here as well. Also, if you um, are doing it on the phone, I'll just quickly show you how to do that as well. But we're pretty much finished here, so that is what a difference channel width can make. Just a couple of clicks of a button and we've got an extra couple of hundred megs. So making the change on the mobile app is really easy as well, and I'll just show you how to do that now. So on the app, you just go to um, Devices, select the device, so the U6 Mesh in this case, we go Settings, and then Radios, and then just below, sorry, yeah, just below where it says radio five gigahertz, you've got channel width there, you just select that and you can change it there. And then once you change it, just click save in the top corner and that's it saved. So I hope you found this video useful. Um, please do think about subscribing to the channel. If you want to check out who we are and what we do, then uh, you can find us on Instagram and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much for watching.